All right, welcome back, everybody. If you are a fan of the play Annie or the movie, and who is not? It's got great music. It's got an unbelievable story, and it's got some really, really solid performances. And reproducing that very story right now is Kyra, our guest. And obviously, you are playing Little Orphan Annie in the production of Annie Jr., and Christine is the director of the play. Yes put on by the Santa Barbara Catholic School community, and there are some members of the cast who are Santa Barbara alumni, as I understand. Yes. Okay, so welcome, both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank okay. you for having us. Okay, so Kyrie, you have the lead role. Are you nervous at all? Because that, that's a very important role to play, and, and Annie obviously has like a lot of speaking parts, and you sing a lot, too. Yes, I'm very nervous because when it's showtime, there's like a lot of people in the audience and the spotlight's on me and everywhere and I have to sing and memorize my lines. So it's like very challenging. And then I even have to practice with a real dog, Sandy. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how, how, how is it working with animals? Because that's probably the toughest um, part about any actor. For our dog, he's already trained, which is a good thing. And he has a Sandy color, of course. <laughs> and um, I tell him to sit down and come and follow, and he's like obedient. Very cool. I'm sure he yeah. enjoys working with you guys as yes. well. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is it like? What type of challenge is it as an actor to play Annie? Because that's a very, it's a very cute role, obviously, mm -hmm. but it's also very complicated because you're talking about a girl who's got a lot of spirit and she's got a lot of love in her heart, and she's in some very bad situations and gets brought into this amazing family. Well, the play for Annie, it's like very emotional. Sometimes she's like tough, sometimes she's really happy, and sometimes she's just really sad. And it's challenging to um, be there smiling because sometimes I'm just like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I'm so nervous. Okay, so Christine, what are some of the challenges of directing this kind of play? And, you know, like kind of relaying the messages and, and thematically telling the kids this is what's going on in this period of time you know you're growing up in almost abject poverty you know yeah. like it's a bunch of orphans so like you know they're separated from their pa their parents or they don't even know their parents so this is the mindset you've got to get in yeah um i have to brief them about the great depression because annie was set in 1930s where the great depression happened mm -hmm. and a lot of them of course they don't know about it already but the good thing is most of the cast I have them for my sixth grade class, and it's part of our lesson. So I have let them watch documentaries about the Great Depression, and they have reflected about it and brought it to their, to their acting. And it was good. It was good because you can see that they have, it's as if they have felt they have been there. Mm -hmm. And they have realized how hard it was to work in an orphanage to be, to be forced into labor just because how desperate people were because of a nickel. Because everything back then, during the Great Depression, is you can buy e everything for a nickel. Yeah, 1929 was a very, very bad year in the, the country's history. Yes. And, uh, people had to line up for like eight hours for a single, <laughs> like a small roll of bread. And that was your entire family's mm -hmm. dinner for the night. Crazy. So uh, what does it mean to you to be able to play this kind of role and to work with, you know, your peers and your classmates and everything and put on this production together as a team? Well, it's very hard because... There's a lot of lines to memorize, a lot of lyrics to sing, and um, it's fun also with my classes, and they're like, good job, Kyra, and they're always congratulating me, and it's really fun. What's your favorite song? Tomorrow, of course. <laughs> okay, I was going to say that either that one or Hard Knock Life, because it's like everybody's all singing together. Yeah. And how many solo spots do you have? Um, about, like, like, there's a lot, and there's like about five or so. And there's many songs, and it's really fun, and it's fun to hang out with the other actors, the co-actors. Mm -hmm. And uh, how long have the kids been working on this, and how long you know, have you been putting this play together? Um, we started, audition started January, and then we had our pre-production uh, end of January, rehearsal started February. Mm -hmm. Basically, we've been working on this for like four to five months already. Oh, okay, so if you can hold up that poster there, we'll get a nice um, shot of that. And of course, this is Annie Jr. Yes. So maybe, uh, Christine, tell us, how does Annie Jr. maybe um, differ from the movie, either the current one with um, Cameron Diaz, or if you're old like me, the, the <laughs> old school one that people remember? Well, first, first of all, um, the, the movie, the singing, mm -hmm. is more authentic. The newest one, the 2014, has synthesizer in it and they are singing with their own voices live performance will always be preferred than the movie absolutely oh very cool okay so how can people get tickets because i'm sure it's going to be there's going to be a line way out the door they can buy their tickets at the santa barbara catholic school office it's at the school and it's 
just when you come in, it'll be right there. All right, and of course, the very first performance I see there is on the 16th, so it's coming yes. up. Yes. Mm -hmm. what, what work do you guys have to do to make sure that, you know, any final touches you have to do? You guys are already doing dress rehearsals, I'm assuming? Um, we have to uh, practice with the classes because when we do our songs, the classes are also participating in the play, and they need to know their cues when they come in, and um, it's really fun, and it's, you're going to enjoy the play. Okay, Kyra, could I ask you a really huge favor? Could you just sing a couple lines from the chorus of Tomorrow, since that's your favorite song? That would be wonderful. The chorus? Yes, please. The sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow, you're always a day away. Outstanding, great Thank job. You. Very, very good. Congratulations to you, your directorial staff, and the, the entire cast. You're going to do great. Thank, Thank you. And tell you what, we are going to go to commercial break. Like, would you do me one more favor? Can I get you to autograph that poster for me? Okay. I'm sure you'll be signing a lot of those like okay. as, you, as you perform, but like we get the f very first one here at KUM, if you of don't course. mind. All right, thank you very much. And stay tuned, everybody. We are back with more show after this.